एनजी ज्वेलर्स In a case of alleged negligence by the Enforcement Directorate, Delhi's Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal received significant relief. The Rao's Avenue Court in Delhi granted him bail on a personal bond of rupees fifteen thousand and a surety bond of one lakh, eliminating the threat of immediate arrest. The court order came after Kejriwal was summoned to appear on Saturday regarding two cases filed by the ED. He attended court for the first time in liquor scam case but was granted bail by the Rouse Avenue court under section 174 of the IPC. Further proceedings in the case are scheduled for April 1st with no personal appearance required from Kejriwal. The Madras High Court dismissed the bail plea filed by ED officer Ankit Tiwari arrested in December 2023 by the Directorate of Vigilance and Anti-Corruption. Tiwari was accused of soliciting bribes to close a pending case against him. Earlier the special court rejected Tiwari's bail plea citing his ineligibility under CRPC section 167 due to a Supreme Court stay on the investigation. Tiwari subsequently approached the Madurai bench of the Madras High Court for reconsideration but his bail plea was rejected on Saturday. In a case of defamation against the Seva Bharti Trust in Tamil Nadu the Madras High Court has imposed a fine of 50 lakhs on a YouTuber. The court stated in its verdict that the YouTuber had not exercised restraint in his expression and could not infringe upon others' privacy or diminish their dignity in the name of freedom of expression. Justice N Kumar Satish's bench ordered YouTuber Surendra also known as Nathikan to pay the Seva Bharti Trust the fine of 50 lakhs. The YouTuber had made unsubstantiated allegation against the trust in connection with the deaths of the two Christian men B Jayaraj and his son Ben who were arrested in 2020. Former Telangana Chief Minister K Chandrasekhar Rao's daughter K Kavita was arrested by the Enforcement Directorate from her residence in Banjara Hills in Hyderabad on Friday in connection with the Delhi liquor scam case. She was presented before the Rao's Avenue Court in Delhi on Saturday where she was remanded in ED custody until March 23rd. The ED presented evidence to Special Justice MK Nagpal stating that Kavita had sufficient evidence related to money laundering under the Delhi excise policy. The ED requested custody of Kavita for 10 days however Kavita's lawyer argued against her arrest citing that the matter is pending in the supreme court and the ED had previously undertaken not to arrest her after hearing the ED's plea on saturday the court remanded Kavita to ED custody until march 23rd AIMIM chief Asaduddin Awaisi has approached the Supreme Court against the Citizenship Amendment Act. On Saturday, Awaisi filed a plea in the Supreme Court urging for an immediate halt to the implementation of the act. He argues that the CAA is intrinsically linked to the NRC and aims to target Indian Muslims. Additionally, the Kerala government has also moved the Supreme Court against the CAA. Kerala seeks to block the implementation of the Act and the Citizenship Amendment Rules 2024. Previously, various organizations and several leaders including the Muslim League had filed petition against the CAA in the Supreme Court. On Tuesday, March 19th, the Supreme Court will hear all the petitions filed against the CAA together. Chief Justice directed the consolidation of all petitions related to this matter on March 19th. <laughs> 